instruction ends in the classroom but education ends only with life with this beautiful quote students a very good morning to each one of you hope you all will be fit and fine students today we are going to study figures of speech a figure of speech is a deviation from the ordinary use of words in order to increase their effectiveness basically it is a figurative language that may consist of one single or phrase it may be a simile a metaphor or a personification to convey the meaning other than the literal meaning the different types of figure figures of speech are as follows simile metaphor personification apostrophe hyperbole proverbs and many more now let's do types of figure of speech in detail the figure of speech list is over a hundred but some commonly used types are given along with examples let's do in detail first one simile in simile two unlike things are explicitly compared for example she is like a fairy a simile is introduced by the words such as like so as etc then we have metaphor it is an informal or implied simile in which words like as so once again like as so are omitted for example he is like a lion this particular sentence is a simile but if you want to change it into metaphor it will be he is a lion in the following examples metaphors are underlined so here let's see first one she is a star of our family second one the childhood once again the childhood of the world the anger of the tempest the deceitfulness of riches and the wine is a mocker first one is she is a star of our family so here the girl is being compared with a star next one the childhood of the world so here of the world what is compared childhood then the anger of the tempters so here we are talking about how the anger is then deceitful of the riches so here deceit means what lies betrayal next one wine is a mocker mocker so here comparison of the wine is done with a mocker next one she is now in the sunset of her days so her days are being compared with the sunset then we have is the personification personification is an attribution of personal nature intelligence or character to inanimate objects that is non living things or abstract notions for example in some phrases we use the furious storm the thirsty ground the pitiless cold some other examples are little sorrows sit and weep the dish ran away with the spoon so you can a dish run away with the spoon no it's not possible but we are talking about the nature of a human done by an non living thing next we are having metonymy metonymy is meant for a change of name it is a substitute of the thing names for the thing meant following examples will clarify the concept the pen is mightier than the sword so here the instead of sword what it is the pen it works the same by writing only you can catch that person about the details about the person instead of using a sword so substitute is given instead of sword pen and instead of pen a sword next one from the cradle to the grave means what from childhood to death 
नेक्स्ट वन आई हैव नेवर रेड मिल्टन मिल्टन मीन्स वॉट द वर्क्स ऑफ मिल्टन इज बींग ओके नेवर रेड बाय द पर्सन और द पोएट नेक्स्ट वन वी हैव अपोस्टफी इट इज अ डायरेक्ट एड्रेस टू सम इन एनिमेट इन एनिमेट नॉन लिविंग थिंग इन एनिमेट थिंग और सम एबस्ट्रैक्ट आइडिया एज इफ इट वॉर लिविंग पर्सन और सम एबसेंट पर्सन एज इफ इट वॉर प्रेजेंट एग्जाम्पल बॉयज मदर लव हिम वेरी मच य द मदर इज नॉट देयर बट अबाउट द मदर इज बींग शी इज एबसेंट ओवर यर सो अबाउट the mother's love is being talked then we have students that is the sixth one we have hyperbole hyperbole is a statement made emphatic emphatic by overstatement means your overstatement is being given on that when you're fully confident at that moment it is being used so for example virtues as the sands of the shore here a statement is emphasized by overstatement it is exaggeration for effect no one imagines that a hyperbolic statement is taken seriously it is just an overstatement the other examples example is you can fool the whole world down the pathways of the years and get pats on the back or as you pass or the other one is and i will come again my love though it were 10000 miles so it is just an overstatement students then we have the seventh one cynic dog cynic dog is the understanding of one thing by means of another here a part is used to designate the whole or the whole to the designate a part for example I have the viceroy love the man and all hands that is crews at work so here it is being what a part is used as designated as the whole in synecdoche what what it is something is replaced by something referring the part that is uh, to one of its parts and by something that it is a part of whole the other example is till the heart of me whips to belong to the old sunday evenings at home so here it is a part of the body you can see a part of the body is being used all hands at work the above example which i said I have the viceroy love the uh, love the man and all hands at work so here a part of the body is being used next one we have transferred epithet in transferred epithets the qualifying objective is transferred from a person to a thing as in phrases for example sleepless night sunburn mirth and melodious plain the epithet that or the adjective is transferred from its original place to another closely related to it students in this figure of speech you have to understand that an epithet that is a word mostly an adjective it is it is transferred from that is before its proper word to another that is closely associated with it in the sentence like night over here is given next to night what is it is sleepless nights how is the night sleepless how is the mirth sunburn how is the plain Me- uh, melody uh, melodious next one we have that is euphemism by using the euphemism we speak in agreeable and favorable terms of some person object or event which is ordinarily considered unpleasant and disagreeable for example he is telling us a fairy tale so here it is just a lie 
नेक्स्ट वन ही हैज फॉलन असलीप दैट इज ही इज डेड अकॉर्डिंग टू दोज पोएम्स नेक्स्ट वन स्टूडेंट्स वन वंस अगेन इन यूफिमिज्म वन हैज टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट अनप्लेजेंट आइडिया ऑफ डेथ or a disagreeable thing is spoken in a pleasant manner in euphemism another example i feel like giving is thus i entered and thus i go unpleasant idea of the man's death is expressed through the pleasant word go next one we have student that is irony or sarcasm irony or sarcasm in this mode of speech the real meanings of the words used are different from the intended meanings for example the child of cobbler has no shoe in army it just implies a double meaning a double view or a dual view of things first one a literal meaning and second one different intention irony can be used to create amusement unlike sarcasm it is only used to give a taunt or a mockery for example wisdom shall die with you and the next one is brutus is an honorable man so are they all because of he is a honorable so others the company you keep they feel yes the others are the same in the same manner or wisdom if you die then with you your cleverness and intelligence also will go off next one students we have pun the meaning of pun is a fanciful formation pun is a play on words either there are different meanings or upon two different words sounding the same pun is a humorous use of word to suggest different meanings or the words of the same sound and different meaning this consists of a play on the various meanings of a word its effect is often ludicrous ludicrous that is humorous or laughter going for the for example first one is life worth living it depends upon the liver next one obviously the constitution is against prostitution and congress is against progress that is con means against and pro means for so here you have to understand students that pun is used for making laughter next one we have that is epigram it is a brief pointed saying it couples words which apparently contradict each other contradict oppose the language of the epigram is re- remarkable for its brevity students it is a brief pointed saying which is introduced with an aim to excite to surprise or to attract one's attention for example life is but an empty dream so here it tells us that life is short and passes away like a dream some few examples are given below first one the child is the father of the man next one fools rush in a ev- sorry fools rush in where angels fear to tread next one the art lies in concealing art next one silence is sometimes more eloquent than words next one conspicuous by its absence so here certain words are being used opposite to each other next one we have antithesis it is an easy one for you during the examination also most of the students attempt antithesis because they feel it to be very secure in antithesis a striking opposition 
or contrast of words is made in the same sentence in order to secure emphasis antithesis conveys a clear idea of what a thing is by stating what it is not contrasting or opposite ideas or words used within the sentence for poetic effect for example to or is human to forgive divine next one give every man thy ear but few thy voice then again we have from devi dawn to devi night next one for which i cry both day and night means what student over here opposites are being used next one and quick to lose what all men seek once i lose once i seek to gain first then again of childish days is upon me my manhood is cast so one side childhood and the other side manhood so your opposites are being used in this one only single sentence then we have oxymoron it is a figure of speech which combines two seemingly contradictory or in congruous words for sharp emphasis or effect special form of antithesis where two contradictory terms are united to give the expression of a point for example darkness visible one side we are saying darkness the other side visible next one make haste slowly haste means quickly and the other side i'm using slowly next one loving hate so here loving one side we are loving the other side we are hating next one mild attack one side what we are doing we are using the opposite mild and the other side we are saying attack so here both are opposite after that we are going for litotes it is the opposite of hyperbole here an affirmative is con conveyed by negation that is negative of the opposite use of negation to convey a positive meaning means what in a sentence there will be no not never if you see no not never or negative word at that moment that is litotes for example he is no dullard next one i am not a little next one he is not a bad sort after that we are going for interrogation this is a rhetorical mode of affirming or denying something more strongly than could be done in an ordinary language everyone knows what is a interrogation a neg- uh, a question sentence is called as interrogation keep in mind for example who is here so base that would be a born man next one who is here so rude that would be that would not be a roman next one who is here so will that will not love his country so here what it is it is interrogation asking a question so here when you see a question sentence what you can give which figure of speech interrogation that's an easy one next one we are having exclamation everyone knows a sentence having an exclamation sign but here you have to be very careful what let's see it is used for strong expression of feelings for example oh lift me as a wave a leaf a cloud i fall upon the thorns of life i bleed and then the exclamatory sign so here when you see in any sentence exclamation then particular which figure of speech will give exclamation when you see if exclamation sign it will be in exclamatory uh, that is exclamation 
then we have climax you know in movies also there are different climax so here also something related to that only climax it is an arrangement of a series of ideas in order of increasing importance so increasing importance according to that climax is the arrangement of a series of statements in order of ascendancy uh, everyone knows what is ascending and what is descending so in climax it will be ascending so that the last is the strongest of all the most positive and uplifting let's see how given an example what a piece of workman how noble is reason how infi infinite in faculties in action how like an angel so first he is being the man is being shown as a workman then a noble man then a faculty and then as an angel so part by part increasing order is being given to the man next one we have is the anti climax or bathos it is also called as bathos anti climax is also called as bathos this is an opposite to climax and signifies a ludicrous descent from the higher to the lower what happens over here in this particular fig figure of speech statements gradually descend in order of importance it is used humorously with success but otherwise when unintentional it can produce a ludicrous that is a happy a humorous thing so here you have to understand for poetic effect it is being done in both climax also as well as anti climax also now let's go further for examples a man so various that he seemed to be not one but all mankind's epitome who in the course of one revolving moon was loyal state statesman fiddler and buffoon so here how it is loyal highest post statements then below fiddler fiddler lesser than him and buffoon good for nothing everyone knows the meaning of a lawyer an advocate statesman a political leader fiddler a person who plays violin or any other instrument and buffoon a fool so according to the degree wise first is the highest degree then the lowest then the lowest and then the least one so according to the decreasing order is being done in anti climax then we have alliteration students it's also an easy one only alliteration the repetition of the same letter or syllable at the beginning of two or more words is called alliteration for example by apt alliterations artful a uh, means over here the first alphabets you have to see of a word a a a a four times a are there by again i'm reading by apt alliterations artful a so apt spelling a p t alliteration spelling from a artful spelling from a and a is also given a uh, okay then the second sentence glittering through the gloomy g so here three g's are being given first is glittering then gloomy and then the only alphabet g means what gloomy and glittering are coming from g apt and alliteration and artful came from a next one the furrow fo uh, follows now your first letter what are they for furrows and follows f so here twice the letter is been repeated and so in alliteration what it is repetition of consonants or syllables once again alliteration refers to the repetition of any particular sound among words placed close together in a sentence these are mainly consonants but can be vowel sounds too means not only consonants but sometimes even vowels also like example buys his paper paper and looks at 
the uh, the pigs so your pp then again if i give you another one where i would wander if i might so where w came would w came wander w came so you have how many three times w came so here uh, the alphabet w is being repeated the consonant w is being repeated again and again and so it is alliteration so it's also an e easy one students to learn then we have onomatopoeia in onomatopoeia this particular figure of speech let's do in detail is used of words which produce sounds or echoes for poetic effect the formation of a word whose sound is made to suggest or echo the sense as in the words cuckoo bang growl hiss so such words which make sounds like example again boom tingling murmur purring hissing so such words are if they are there in that particular uh, line that that is onomatopoeia for example we'll go for sentence the moan of doves in immemorial alms and murmur of innumerable bees so here the word murmur came then again let's go for the next one rend with the tremendous sound your ears asunder with guns drum trumpet blunderbuss and thunder so thunder uh, then again blunderbuss hmm? all these are the words which create sounds and for that they are being taken as onomatopoeia now let's do circumlocution this consists of expressing some fact or idea in a roundabout way means what a simple thing to be uh, told in it by taking big words and then to talk about it instead of stating it at once for example the viewless couriers of the air who are the viewless cu couriers that is the wind in the poem about wind you are talking but you are using the words the viewless couriers of the air you could have used only the word wind but you didn't uh, means if a poet wanted to use he is taking a big something wordings and then he is talking about it next one that statement of his was purely an effort of imagination so you are purely an effort of imagination it's a fiction so instead of talking about that statement of his was fiction he is using the words purely an effort of imagination so extra words being used okay taking a round about and talking then we have tautology or pleonasm tautology is meant for repeating the same fact or idea in different words tautology is a figure of speech which says the same thing or idea twice in different words this is a faulty style also unnecessary use of words or ideas which do not add to the meaning but repeat for example it is the privilege or birthright of every man to express his ideas without any fear so privilege and birthright you, if you have used only privilege would would have done but still using another word birthright and stressing on it is used in tautology next example i shall give bright you sparkle on your way so one side bright is given the other side sparkle which denote one and the same meaning next one we have students is repetition in repetition students it is a mode of emphasizing a point by saying it more than once repetition can take two forms first one is repetition of same words that is same words are you uh, repeated uh, over and over again then repetition of different words also this kind of figure of speech is also co called as parallelism in repetition repetitions words as well as phrases are being used to increase the musical effect for example 
years years fleeted over so years is being repeated twice to give poetic effect then again another one is oh my love like a red red rose so red red the word red is being used twice then again to see the unforgotten face once seen once kissed once reft from me so here the word once is repeated again and again it can be used in different forms also students lies defeated and buried deep three or four hours unconscious there so lies defeated and lies uh, sorry and buried deep are one and the same used but in different wordings so here we complete our figure of speech there are, there are still many many more than 100 so here we have taken some and here please student go through it understand it thank you